Good evening, my name is Allison. The purpose of this video is to reply to a post, or actually two posts that I actually seen uh, between today and yesterday, and they're pretty pow powerful. So the first one is Joel Osteen, and the message was that um, when God chooses people to put on a certain journey, he chooses the ones he thinks will do the best. Well. It says that sometimes God puts you on trials to teach you how the walk is so you can help others who are in that walk who aren't as strong as you. And that's me. <laughs> that's what I do. And the other one was today that um, I, from actually one of the churches that you know I'm, I'm part of, um, it talked about, um, it's called Pulse Miami Church, by the way. Um, it talked about light a candle and talk to your family or yourself all by yourself and see what God has done for you in your darkest moments. In other words, the light that he illuminated when you mostly needed it. Well, I got my candle here and I already had my alone time like I do all the time. And I thanked God for my journey. Now, here I am. I'm going to move this video along as quick as I can. Um, but uh, last year, the 7th of December, um, I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer. So the doctors and the tests say. But I knew that God had different plans for me. So I, 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 I went ahead along with it. And I did everything I had to do. Um, been to the doctor, been through chemo, been through re uh, surgery, radiation, chemo pills, the whole nine yards. Now, at one point, I was bald just five months ago. Check it out. Check it all this hair out. This right here is my port. That's where the poison went through, okay? This is my surgery. Look at that. You would never tell I had surgery. Right there, that little line right there. See that? It's called a lumpectomy. You never tell. Had no complications. Listen, I had I had maybe 2% of side effects throughout all of that I've been through. And that's like pretty amazing. And that's only because God. He put me on this path. And he said, I need you to learn so you could help other women. I'm going to make it as easy as I can for you. But in order for you to know what it's like, I, I need to teach you. And he did. I went through 20, uh, 16 rounds of radiation. I had a surgery done. I had um, uh, 20 rounds of radiation. And I'm on my fourth cycle of chemo pills. And I have to go up to number eight. Then a clinical trial. Okay, All because the devil is trying to invade my life. But he's not. Because... God is the one who rules my life okay so a little bit about my testimony and what I'm thankful for is in the very beginning God threw a walking angel down to me out of nowhere came this guy who um, didn't know me yet he took my hand and he walked me down the path and he created that strong foundation of this journey that I'm about to walk um, he was a stranger he took me to my biopsy he took me to every single test I needed before my treatment started. He took me to my first four rounds of uh, intense chemo. And then he allowed, you know, some family members to come along, you know. So, you know, he stepped out and let uh, two family members come, two sessions. And um, he was there. He's still there for me. And that's illumination number one. God put that man in my path. He picked me up. He would uh, get me from my job, from my home, wherever it was I needed to go. He would take me to my appointments, paid for parking, paid for tolls, paid for food. Uh, he, he explained to me how I need to um, address my son. Um, he was a radiologist, actually. He was a, 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 a retired radiologist who actually um, worked for years in Cedars Hospital for those who are old school in Miami. And he also was a professor, pro professor in Miami-Dade College. And he was a tutor for um you know um radiologists you know who are just getting ready to graduate so this guy was like the perfect guy that's only god okay then i start my chemo sessions and i get neutropenia fever on round one okay my blood count um uh my white blood count went down to 50 five zero i was right there at the end god saved me he picked me back up he said you ain't going nowhere sister this is just to teach you actually my daughter Okay, moving forward, never had another side effect. Okay, everything went smooth after that. Yes, I did have many nights of um, um, no sleep on um, because of the steroids. 
no side effects no vomiting no diarrhea no constipation no loss of appetite no loss of weight um i, I never missed a, a chemo session i was able to do every single one rang the bell then come surgery surgery went perfect surgery went perfect i was able to go home the same day uh, had very little minimal pain didn't have to take any medication and was back to work that following monday which i had surgery on friday okay then i go to radiation this is the really touching part okay so i go to radiation 20 rounds well as i was doing radiation okay i would imagine the lord's hand covering my area okay and protecting my heart but what he was doing he was protecting my whole area okay and you know what my skin didn't change at all you see this color all around here that's exactly the way it was when you do radiation you usually God, you, it's like um you, you have the sun it's like if you get a really 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 bad sunburn i got none of that zero nothing nada the doctors were like wow you really took well i knew what it was it was because god was right there with me okay now i'm on these pills okay i get no side effects i get nothing zero it's like i'm not even taking pills which i'm going to take one in a little bit um i take five pills three in the morning and two in the evening it's poison but god's working through that poison okay so that was my illumination number um three and number four so my first one was initial chemo second was surgery third was radiation and fourth is this zelota that i'm on now this is my port that's where the poison went through i still have it they gotta flush it they do blood work sometimes through it so it's got to be there a little bit longer but i advocate to women every single day every day i make posts on facebook and private pages to cancer patients and i uplift them that's the purpose the lord had me um had had in mind for me to do and he works through me and i get through cancer patients every day and it's a real honor and pleasure to do that um and then i my family everybody in my family's been so strong and, and has been there for me everybody come to, came together everybody supports me everybody is there for me my kids my grandkids my grandkids are my inspiration my daughter i throw everything on her and she doesn't complain she doesn't push back she finds solutions she keeps me involved with her children every my mother-in-law and my father-in-law have opened the doors to me which they've always done um so see i got a really strong testimony there's a lot more to this story than just what i'm telling you but i don't want to lag on for you know and bore you and some people not watch the to the end of this video but i really have a strong testimony and my testimony is all because of god Okay, my faith grew. My faith grew bigger than ever. You know when they say um, your faith can move mountains? Well, what they mean is it can move mountains. Yes, it can. In other words, it can move something that you thought wasn't possible to be possible. Okay, and and to all of you who are out there who you know who are going through hard times right now, you gotta build your faith and you gotta confide in the Lord and you gotta let it go and you gotta. Um, let God in. Let Him in. Let it, you know involve Him. Let 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 Him know that you want Him. That you seek Him, and you're gonna see. He's gonna respond. He's not gonna ignore you. He wants you. And you know what? Seek Him. You 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 won't be disappointed. And what I'm thankful for is I'm thankful for the journey that God's put me on. I'm thankful for this opportunity that I'm able to. Um, oh, help people help people around the world because it's not just in florida that i help people these are people from around the world so i'm touching people in many countries africa new zealand um, france uh, japan i mean there's women all around the world who are you know, who are breast cancer patients and i'm part of their life and 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 to know that god is using me to do that I, i'm honored to do that even though I got to go through this journey, God has made it really, really easy for me. And for that, I thank him even more. And, you know, as we close this um, video, I just want to...
pray for everybody and and and, and let 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 your heart open you know lord i ask you that every viewer that's watching this video right now that they open their hearts and 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 and, and they let you in and they seek you and they and they follow you and and and, and you know they grasp onto your word and 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 they allow you to mold them to be the person that you want them to be and let them use let them let you use them as vessels to get to other people and to influence and 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 and, and, and lift and 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 guide other people who need your guidance and who need to be part of your life also amen as we close this video god bless everybody sorry it took so long but there's lots more to my testimony and i'm gratified one day i know i'm gonna step on stage and i'm gonna be able to tell my whole testimony and it's gonna be a day it's gonna be a real great honor for me can't wait for that day god bless everyone